Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum. Today in our English compulsory for first year, we will discuss about a Sindhi woman, the poem written by John Stallworthy. John Stallworthy was a famous poet of England. He was uh, born on 18th uh, January 1935 and died on November 19, 2014. He was a professor of English at the University of Oxford from 1992 to 2000. Once he visited Pakistan and went to Karachi, the capital of Sindh, there he saw a Sindhi woman at her work. He was much impressed by her tough and active routine. In this poem, he is paying tribute to a Sindhi woman. So what he feels about Sindhi woman and what he is saying in this poem and what lesson he got from the work of the Sindhi woman he is presenting here. So here he describes the Sindhi woman in such words, barefoot through the bazaar and with the same undulant grace as the cloth blown, ba blown back from her face, she glides with a stone jar high on her head and not a ripple in her tread. Barefoot, wearing nothing in her foot and undulant means wave-like movement. So the poet is impressed by her graceful walk and he is praising that though she is barefooted. So barefoot here refers to her poverty as well as her strong tough routine. That is, uh, she is barefooted passing through the bazaar. And in spite of barefoot, he, she is uh, walking very gracefully in a wave-like movement. Undulant mean wave-like smooth movement. And as she moves forward, due to the heavy wind, the cloth, head cloth from her face blown back and exposes her face. She glides with a stone jar. Glides mean move along smoothly. Aram se both comfortably chalna this may mehsoos na ho ke koi takleef ho rahi hai usse although she is having a heavy stone jar upon her head but she is moving very smoothly very comfortably which impresses the poet very much high on her head she is um, uh, keeping the stone jar high on her head and moving straight and smooth without any problem and not a ripple in her tread. Ripple mean there is no uh, uh, staggering in her walk. Ripple in fact means small wave but here it refers that there is no stagger in her wave. She is moving like wave. Uh, very comfortably, very smoothly and rhythm, uh, in a rhythmic movement of uh, a uh, wave. Tread means walk. She walks in a rhythmic movement, uh, movement and which impresses, which um, gives the, point, the impression that she is uh, feeling no problem in her walk in spite of her bare foot. So in this stanza we can say that the poet describes the uh, woman is walking through the bazaar. She is wear not wearing shoes in her feet. She is walking in a wavy tread and is looking very graceful. She is carrying a stone jar on her head. The wind is blowing and um, her uh, face cloth is moving away from the uh, her face by the wind. She is walking smoothly and nothing can disturb her tread in, in spite of her barefoot. 
and there is not a single ripple single stagger staggering in her walk so the poet gives the message that tough life gives strength to a person give um, a strong body to a person as far as the difficult words are concerned you can see the list of difficult words and their meanings here barefoot means wearing nothing in foot nange pao undulant wave like motion lehar ki tarah harkat karti hui yani lehrati hui glides moving along smoothly bade aaram se narmi se बिल्कुल किसी परेशानी के बगैर चलते जाना रिपल स्मॉल वेव और हल्की सी हल्की हल्की लहरों की मानद ट्रेड मीन वॉक यानी चलना तो इस टेंजा में ग्रेसफुल मूवमेंट ऑफ द सिंधी वुमेन जो है वो डिस्क्राइब की है पोइट ने और उसका पोइट की फीलिंग का एहसास हो रहा है कि ही वॉज मच इम्प्रेस्ड by her graceful walk and her graceful appearance let us move to the second stanza <clears throat> watching her cross erect stones garbage excrement and crumbs of glass in the crutchy slums i with my stoop reflect they stand most straight who learn to walk beneath a weight now here the poet describes her uh, his own experience and he is saying that he uh, stood there walking uh, her um, stood there looking her walk looking the walk of the uh, sindhi woman while she is you know, working while she is collecting water or anything for her uh, household use so he um was standing uh, in karachi slums the ugly the little the um, congested areas of karachi where there are stones garbage excrement and crumbs are seen all around so the poet describes his experience that when he uh, sees the women barefooted and passing over all these things in the karachi slums in the little in the ugly areas in the narrow streets of karachi she is walking upon the stones the garbage garbage means waste material rubbish excrement mean also the waste matter and crumbs the pieces of glass as well as the pieces of food but she is walking straight erect mean very straight so the poet st- uh, stood there uh, he is uh, uh, describing his past experience so uh, in this poem he describes that he was standing at that time there and he was reflecting he was thinking over that why his body bent down why he can't move straight then he comes to the conclusion that those people can stand stand straight can move straight uh, who learn to walk beneath a weight who lead difficult life who lead tough life who lead in the life full of difficulties and hardships and who face the hardships manly then they learn to move in a straight manner like a sindhi woman who is uh, in front of him and uh, who is walking straight and smoothly and in a graceful manner in spite of all the difficulties described above she has no ripple and no stagger in her walk so uh, when we discuss this stanza um after explanation of uh, these lines 
we can uh, discuss in this manner that the poet describes the uh, environment where the sindhi woman is passing through the poet also describes his own feelings after watching the sindhi woman walking barefoot through an unclean a uh, uh, filthy area the poet says that he sees her straight walk through karachi slums and a path full of garbage crumbs broken glasses the body of the poet is bent down with age he can't stay uh, stand straight like the sindhi woman so at this uh, um, condition at this uh, reflection um, of his own personality he thought that the people who learn to walk beneath a weight can stand stand more straight the poet gives us a lesson that laziness and idleness can make a person weak and he or uh, one stoops down but uh, the people who are uh, tough and strong and pass through difficult situations all become strong and uh, tough and they can lead the life comfortably in all the difficulties so this is the lesson of the poem that one should lead a, a tough life and one should uh, live bravely in the life otherwise there is no meaning of life because one should face the hardships of the life manly then one can pass a graceful and a beautiful life the meanings in the second stanza um, meanings of the difficult words are here for your convenience erect mean straight mean seedha chalna garbage waste rubbish yani uh, jo bhi kooda cricket hota hai or excrement waste matter of human beings or animals uh, fuzla jisko kehte hain slums uh, streets or small houses tang o tareek galiyan aur chote chote ghar reflect mean uh, to ponder about think about think seriously सोचना स्टूप मीन झुका हुआ बेंट सो दिस इज ऑल अबाउट द पोएम सिंधी वुमेन द पोए डिस्क्राइब्स हीज एक्सपीरियंस एंड देन ही कंक्लूड्स इन दिस मैनर दैट वन शुड लीड अ टफ लाइफ देन ही कैन लीड अ हैप्पी और स्ट्रॉन्ग लाइफ एंड देन ही कैन पास थ्रू ऑल द डिफिकल्टीज ब्रेवली ओके अल्लाह हाफिज़